Okay, find the average translational kinetic energy per molecule okay, uh, of an ideal gas at the following temperatures. So we have three temperatures here. 0 Kelvin, 273 Kelvin, and 373 Kelvin. Okay, so first of all, let's analyze this question. Um, he says, uh, what kind of kinetic energy he wants? Uh, he wants the average, uh, the word average, this one, this average, and also per molecules. These two words, average and per molecule, means only for one molecule. Uh, if you see the word average or the word mean, okay, the word average or the word mean, okay, uh, average kinetic energy or mean kinetic energy, uh, that actually means um, that actually means per molecule. Uh, that actually means one molecule. Uh, means one molecule. The energy for only one molecule. Okay. The word average means it means only for one molecule. And then he want the translational. Ah, translational here it means uh, the uh, means the degree of freedom is only three. Uh, because we know for translational, uh, translational motion uh, is always only uh, translational motion means going uh, uh, left, right, uh, 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 to the front, to the back, up and down. So x, y, z. So we have three, uh, three degree of freedom. You see that? Uh, so translational motion means degree of freedom is three. Uh, okay, uh, that's all. Uh, for one molecule only. Uh, so uh, for this temperature, okay. So what's the formula? What's the formula? Okay, let's start with question A. Okay, so uh, let's start with the most basic things we know. The kinetic energy for one molecule and one degree freedom. Ah, you always remember this only. Yeah, for this this uh, part. Yeah, you only rem remember this one. One molecule uh, and uh, for one degree of freedom, the kinetic energy is always half kt ah you remember that one okay so okay kinetic energy for one molecule and one degree of freedom is only half kt ah, so we start from there so uh the kinetic energy okay he said average kinetic energy yeah we write it like that average uh, this bracket means average yeah, or mean kinetic energy okay for uh, zero kelvin yeah so first of all uh Okay, we start with uh, half kt. Half kt is what is mean by half kt? Uh, half kt means for one molecule of uh, one degree freedom, one degree freedom, the kinetic energy amount of kinetic energy it contains is half kt. Ah, okay, half kt. So just remember this one. That this is the most important thing you have to remember. Okay. Let's put a bracket like that. Ah, because this is the most, most important thing. Okay, so we start from here. Okay, so now. So he said for one molecule. Okay, for one molecule. Uh, so uh, this is for energy for one degree freedom. So for one molecule, that means we uh, multiply by one molecule only here. Because only for one molecule. Uh, and then multiply by how many degree freedom? Uh, the degree of freedom is 3. Uh, so we just multiply by 3. Understand? Uh, multiply by 3. Uh, because this is uh, only for one molecule. Okay. Uh, one, one molecule. Oops. Uh, how to write? Uh, one molecule. And uh, 3 degree of freedom. Uh, this is F. Uh, 3 degree freedom. So uh, for one molecule. Uh, uh, which has a uh, three degree freedom. Uh, so this is how you multiply. Uh, so you get uh, the formula becomes three over two kT. Uh, that's how you get the the what the formula. So the temperature now is you just put zero Kelvin. Uh, remember this one must be SI unit. Uh, must be SI unit. Uh, this this temperature must be SI unit. You cannot you cannot accept degree Celsius. Uh, must be Kelvin. Ah, okay. So three over two k. k. So what's the value of k? Let's check the list of constant. The k. 
it's called a uh, Boltzmann constant. Okay, it's a uh, 1.38 exponent negative 23 joule per Kelvin. So this one. Okay, uh, 1.38 exponent negative 23. Am I correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Uh, okay. So temperature is zero Kelvin or zero Kelvin. So what's the energy it has? Zero lah. Uh, zero joule. Uh, okay. Three degree freedom. One molecule. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, the next temperature. Okay, we just use this formula lah. Okay. So from uh, question. Okay, question B. The average kinetic energy, average translational. Yeah, I can make break, put a bracket there. The average, uh, uh, you can put a bracket there like that. Yeah, you can write as a average translational. Uh, like that. Yeah, this is uh, average translational. Uh, okay. Uh, so the formula back to uh three over two kT. Uh, okay, so um, now temperature is uh, 273 Kelvin, uh, temperature is 273 Kelvin, uh, so we just substitute the value, just substitute the value, uh, 273 Kelvin, remember must be in Kelvin, huh? must be in Kelvin, so what, uh, and then, Finally, also question C, we do the same thing. Yeah, average translational kinetic energy. Uh, this this symbol it means average. Yeah, uh, this symbol it means average, or it means mean. Ah, uh, yeah, this symbol, the bracket, it means average or mean, or it means uh one molecule. Uh, it means kinetic energy for only one molecule. Ah, uh, that. This bracket, uh, this bracket, this bracket, uh, it means the, the average kinetic energy for one molecule, uh, for one molecule, this bracket, mean, yeah, average kinetic energy. Okay, um, also use the same formula, 3 over 2 kT, but now the temperature is 373 Kelvin. So we just substitute. We just substitute uh three one point three eight on negative twenty three and then this is three seven three Kelvin and so finally what's the answer? Let's calculate. Okay, we got the answer already. Okay, uh, this is the answer. Okay, so is it correct? Let's check the answer. Um the first one is 0 joule, that's correct. And then 5.65, that's correct. Exponent negative 21. And then 7.72, .7 exponent negative 21, correct. Okay, uh, that's how we do it. Yeah, very simple. Uh, so, um, you see, uh, the higher the temperature, you see, this one is 0 Kelvin, 273, 373. So, the temperature has already increased. You see that? So, the higher the temperature, yeah, so we can see the higher the temperature, yeah, the higher the temperature, the higher the kinetic energy. Uh, so the more kinetic energy it has, yeah, the higher the temperature, the more kinetic energy it has. Uh, so the, the, the gas molecule move faster, move faster at higher temperature. And it has more internal energy, more kinetic energy. Okay, so that's all.